I'm Pete Arno. We're standing in the offices of the Key West Business Guild, which is the oldest gay and lesbian chamber of commerce. The Guild was formed 40 years ago in 1978 by a group of businessmen that applied to the Chamber of Commerce to form a separate division for gay guest houses and was turned down. Since then, the Guild has grown and prospered and we are as large as the Chamber of Commerce now. And we produce a number of events each year, uh, Pride being one of them. At the end of the 80s, a city commissioner, Jeremy Anthony, became very concerned about what was happening with AIDS. At that point, we had uh, people lying down in front of buses in New York to get more money for it and so forth. And they formed the Pride Alliance here in Key West, which started Key West Pride. And at first, it was just a group of people walking down Duval Street without any permit or anything. And this grew, and eventually the Pride Alliance was formed by the Gay and Lesbian Community Center which took it to the next step. And then when the community center uh, decided that, that they, were, they really didn't have a, a reason to be in business anymore because the community is so accepting, it, the event was given to the Key West Business Guild about nine years ago. And under the stewardship of the guild, it has grown tremendously. We've been very happy to have Stoli associated with us for the last four years with the Stoli Cocktail Classic. And we kicked off our event last night at Island House, which is one of the leading men's gay guest houses in the world. And last night was the only night each year that women are allowed. So we had quite a time and a lot of rain, and we drank a lot of vodka, <laughs> so it was fun. But our whole Pride Week is just full of uh, events for people to do, from readings at the theater, to a, we have a wonderful street fair each year, and there are events for everybody to come down here, so it's just not a big party all the time, although that is certainly one of the missions of it. It's, it's a real fun week, and like many of the uh, Pride celebrations all over the country, they were morphing into Pride in the community. So uh, it's not just a pride about pride, gay pride, or gay and lesbian pride, it's about pride in Key West. And um, I think that's really a great thing because it involves a lot more people. Key West is becoming even more important again as a sanctuary city. And we're very proud to be here and, and welcome everybody.